New Mexico State game where they lost. Was there any? Did, was there like an uptick in, in, in messages from other schools at that? Like, you know what I mean? No, not really. After the New Mexico State game, a lot of people didn't really uh, hit me, come at me as hard. It was really still the same. What, what about the opportunities you see as a freshman to play? There, you think you can be in the in the two deep? You think you can start? Or do you, what do you think you're? I feel like I'm coming in to be a starter, to be honest, because the whole the whole defense uh, back room just left. All of them just basically went to the to the league except for Keontae Scott and some of the younger guys. So I, I feel like I'm gonna come in and be a be a be the big man on campus and come in and start. Do you know which corner position you'll play? Um no not yet. I think I'll be be playing both though. What, what do you think you're better what do you think you're better at? Both field and you think you're equal, equally yeah. good at both? Okay. Uh, why is that? What what skill set do you have that allows you to that applies to both of those? Uh I'm long and rangy. I have like um like you can't really like on the boundary side you can't really throw a ball over me because I'm really long and I can defend a lot of those deep passes, short passes. It don't really matter. And then I, d I just got a couple more uh, with um, Keontae Scott. You know, yeah. obviously a great guy. Yeah. Has he played any kind of big brotherly role to you at all? Have you gotten oh, yeah. close with him? Yeah, yeah. Every time I go down, he you know uh, take me under his wing, and let me know how things really going inside the program, not just what uh, everybody see on the outside. He really like. Uh, mentor me, like tell me, um, like we're gonna get to work on as soon as you get down here, stuff like that. Just bring me in as a young brother. Is there a 2025 recruit you're working on in the Atlanta area for Robert? or any anywhere? Nah, not yet. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. What's your updated height and weight, my friend? Um, I say uh, six foot, one ninety. What do you want to play at? Your freshman year. I mean, August is a long way off. Yeah, what's probably, your objective? Probably like 195. 195 yeah. Have you played any of like everybody names this differently? The nickel, the star, or whatever. Have you played that yeah. that Parkview yeah, or yes, Georgia? Sir. Yes, sir. Do you like it? Because that's oh, yeah. more run heavy. Yeah, no, nah, I like it. I love it a lot, really. I like. I mean, it, you know, I, I really I like a corner and nickel. I feel like. I don't know. I don't know. I like both of them, though. I really like both of them. Do you think you have a better long-term projection at any specific spot in the secondary, or is that too early to figure it out? Too early. I can't really tell you. Give me your best trait right now, whether it's man, zone, don't matter. You get a pick. If there's one thing you want to do, it's a third down money ball situation. You're going to get somebody like Cam or whatever. I'm going man. You going man? I'm going man. Are you you a, you a grinder at the line, or yeah. are you like to play off? And, uh, and, and dive well, I say when I first started, I was it was more like um, like hands. I like a whole lot of hands and uh, jams and stuff. But then I kind of calmed down and, and really started using my technique at the line and stuff like that. But I could also I started working on my off man a lot too as well. So I really then picked up on my off man. So I really feel like I'm equally at both. Okay. What's uh, what's next for you then? Like, if you can do both already, you feel comfy. That's good. What do you need to work on next? Because like the SEC yeah, different yeah. department. You know what I mean? Um, probably going inside, like you said, the nickel, and just getting better on my off man with that. For, for, yeah. Have you ever had to take on any of those like six five, two forty five guys? Oh, that's, yeah. that's not yeah, much it's fun. Not, <laughs> it's not fun at all. But hey, you got it. Got to get it how you get it. I'm going to get a quick photo. Anybody else for LeBron Gatlin? Jalen, going back to the summer, what were some of the most important factors when you ultimately chose Auburn over some other schools? Uh, Like I said, um, the distance, but also uh, like the people. Everybody, when I go down there, everybody's so genuine. I feel like everybody take me in. Like, when, when everybody, like, like, I come in the building, everybody, hey, how you doing, speaking, everybody got a nice smile. It's just like, everybody, I feel like everybody got a good vibe, and everybody cool, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. Were some of the other Atlanta DBs that Auburn got last year a factor? I know T-Love and K and some of yeah. those guys. Definitely, most definitely. I talk to them boys, like, all the time, especially when, like, uh, like they was recruiting. I was being recruited by Auburn and stuff like that. I was always on the phone with them, asking them, what's the end? Can you, like, give me the inside scoop on, like, what's really going on? You feel me? So, yeah, they, they played a big pack, a big factor in my decisions. You're an early, early enrollee, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm.
How does it feel being a couple of days away from moving right. into Auburn? It really, it feel, honestly, amazing. It feels amazing for real, for really a dream come true and a surreal feeling. What was your favorite part of the recruiting process? Uh, going, going on the visits. Okay. To, Official to visits going, or yeah. game day visits? Uh, game day, game day, because I like the, the I, I like to see the atmosphere and stuff like that. How many people come out and show love and just you know to just really to see how how all how the how how. Um, how do people really care about the sport and what's going on? What was the best game that you went to? Definitely, definitely Bama, Bama versus Auburn this okay. year. Yeah, definitely. What was your least favorite part of the recruiting process? Um, I, I'd say the OBs because it was like it was a lot going on. Like I have really, I have a lot of time to rest for it. For it, it was just something constantly, constantly, constantly going and going and going. So. I say I say the OVs. Yeah. How important were Coach Zach and Coach Crime, those two guys, in your recruiting process, leading really, they, really heavily throughout the spring? They they played an important role in my recruiting process. Just coming up, talking to me, um, uh, calling me, calling my dad, calling my folks, just seeing, checking up on us, seeing how things is going and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I say that right there. You were part of that wave in the summer. You kind of helped start it a little bit there. And then Auburn ends up finishing seven, seven. I think, something like that. Yep, seven. Was that rewarding or fulfilling in a way, I guess, in the sense that you know you saw a vision and then it really kind of came true in the end? I feel like I started a, a spark. Because after, after I committed, we had on Big Cat Day, after, after I committed on Big Cat Day, we had Malcolm Simmons commit. We had Perry Thompson. Uh, then we had the, we had the Marcus, so I feel like I started yeah. a, a little wave or a little a, a little flame spark or something. Um, talk about some of the other guys that you're here with this weekend in terms of going up against. I mean, they're on your team, but in yeah. practice, going up against Cam and Perry a little bit, and just the opportunity to spend time with Amon and the rest of those guys. Uh, I feel like I feel like it's gonna be a great opportunity. We get to actually compete against each other and really see how it's gonna be in these next couple of days when we actually get on campus and get into school and we actually competing in practice and just going against each other constantly. So I feel like it, it'll be it's gonna be a good, useful, um, useful. It's gonna be good and useful. What's your prediction for the uh, bowl game tomorrow? I think it is. I feel like I feel like we're going we're gonna come out with a dub for sure. Okay. For sure. Um, just last last time in the recruiting process, what's your message to the Auburn fans? Uh, my my message is War Eagle, and by these next couple of years, we're gonna we're gonna get that championship. We're gonna get that championship for sure.